Okay folks, we're going to start work on the cockpit area. This piece comes as one part. The side pieces come as one part. Just one piece I had to attach there, which I've already done quickly. Pedals, one part. They're sufficient. I'm not going to really upgrade those. The seat comes with a backing. That's glued in. This part is one piece. I've already gone ahead and just attached a couple of fellow X parts. Yes, they're already coloured. But however, when I come to painting it, I'm going to paint it over the top so they'll all be the same, especially on them parts. As I'm going to talk about photo etch parts now, this is the instrument panel. This needs to be replaced with the coloured black stuff. This is two halves. So what I'm going to do is, we want to do is sand off your detail. To remove your photo etch, get a, quite a hard piece of plastic or something quite hard, um, but not too hard so it doesn't damage the blade. But I use this is my masking template for cutting masks, and this has been used ahead of a lot. It's been chipped up. Get your knife, and I've lost it. And we're going to need these parts here. So gently cut these tabs off. Once it's all sanded and you've cut your PE part off, this back in plate I'm going to super glue into place. And then the second part that goes over the front, which has the dials, I'm not going to super glue that because you're going to end up making a mess. I will use a strong PVA glue. I like to use this stuff for the extra photo etch parts. Okay folks, we're going to do the photo etch seat belts. So we're going to do a tiny bit of super glue here, we glue it at the back, let that set, fold and wrap around, and then do the two side pieces. So tiny bit of super glue on, on cocktail stick. I don't know how long this is going to work for because I think your super glue's past its best. So if it has then I might have to order some more. So for now we shall we go the back of the seat boat you're not going to see anyway so we'll pop that in there okay folks gone ahead and done the folding next is lap belts so again tiny bit of glue And carefully pick up the belt. One side of the belt has a double loop like buckle and the other has a single. The single is what sits on the seat, the double is what gets folded over so I stick it on the outside, let it set and then fold it over. Okay, this section here of the belt needs to be attached to this part of the belt. I'm not sure what this little piece is. I think it might be something to go around the waist. Um, I'm not going to use super glue for that. I'm going to use the old trusty PVA glue, which is a little bit stronger than normal. And doesn't create much of a mess like super glue. And it dries clear as well. So this would be, again, a tiny bit.
get hold of the belt. It's really fiddly work. I don't like working with photo etch much. Good thing with this PVA glue, it uh, allows you to move stuff around, a little bit of playtime. So we're going to work on that and then attach them to the other side. Okay, why the photo etch parts are drawing and stuff like that? When you buy Eddard's products, you get a lot of foam. Keep this because this is ideal for chipping. So tear a little bit of sponge off. Use the quiet colour that you need. I'm going to use the, the uh, yellow zinc chromate, which some of the aircraft will be painted in this. Um, dab some on, this, on your sponge. Get a paper towel. Take off the excess. You want barely, hardly any on there. Once you see the desired effect, we're going to do some subtle wear on the floor of the cockpit area. So here generally is where the pilot's feet would sit. And a little bit back here is where the parts get in and out so that is all I'm going to do for the floor as for the rest of the instrument panels up the top is where the pilot will get in and out um, and side walls we can just slightly just do a little bit of wear and then once this is done we can go over and detail paint the rest of it in black The back bulkhead, just down the sides, and a tiny bit of wear. We can do a little bit of chipping on the seat. We do that now before I attach the rest of the photo etch parts. So some of the detail works and black parts, I like to use postcard pens for detail painting. These are pretty cool. I've done a video on these in the past and stuff like that. So this is some of the black segments. I can get in fine work with wiring and stuff like that. Um, so on this part, there is some black segments. Um, for instance, some of these squares. Um, this tyre arrangement panel is going to be black and then detail painted with bits we can dry brush and stuff like that so just work your way along so you get the idea and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like Okay folks, I've made a slight mistake after doing a wash, um, it hasn't worked, I used the wrong thinners and messed it up and it started to strip the paint, I've had to redo some of the green, a bit of a mistake on my part, but we've got there and fixed it.